Um, what we're going to talk about today is something that comes up at least once or twice a week when I'm talking to my buyers and sellers out there. And it is um, a seller who's wanting to sell their home and move up or move into a, a new property here locally. And the question always is, John, what do we do first? Do we sell our home and, and then go out there and have the faith that our dream home is going to be out there on the market? Or do we do we go out and write a contract contingent on our home selling? Or, or, or how do we do this? And, you know, the timing of everything. I mean, it is a difficult question because... It kind of depends on you. It depends on, you know, how you're built as far as is, is uh, if, you know, you want to be secure in the fact you know where you're going or if you can live on faith a little bit and know that there's probably enough homes out there that are going to fit your needs to, to sell yours without choosing a home first. And let's talk about both scenarios, pros and cons. First scenario, sell your home first, then go out and find the new home. Um, this is probably... I think the best scenario financially because you know exactly where you're st you stand, you've sold your home, you have it under contract, you know exactly what you're going to net on your home, and you have a pretty good comfort level in what you can go out there and purchase. Um, also, I think your offer to the seller is always going to uh, be looked at a little bit more serious or a lot more serious and you will have more bargaining power when you're taking him a contract that is not contingent on you having to sell a home. Um, I, I just know that you will do better um, when you take that kind of contract to a seller. Um, also, the only, the only I guess, drawback to this is the, the kind of faith issue you have that that dream home is going to be out there when you have a contract come in on your home. Um, and what I tell people sometimes is, let's go out there and look around a little bit. Make sure that you feel like the market's going to give you the home you want. And um, if, if, if that home or two homes that you kind of liked uh, fall off the market, we can always take yours off the market. Let's look at scenario number two. Making a contingency offer to a seller and then selling our home once that is accepted. The... The pro to this, obviously, or the, the benefit to this is you know exactly where you're going, you know exactly what you're going to pay if this offer, uh, if they accept your offer. Um, the negative to this is I think you lose a ton of bargaining power uh, taking that type of offer to a seller. And another negative to this is most sellers, if they're going to even accept a contingency contract, are going to demand that they can still market the property, giving you the first right of refusal, a 28, a 24 hour or 48 hour uh, is, is what's typical in this market and that means you could lose this home to another um, buyer that comes in and that has always uh, creates a lot of heartache so uh, I often advise people you know if you've got to sell your home to buy a new home then that's what we need to do first we can keep our eyes out there on some of the houses that we like but I would not make an offer until we have a good contract on your home. I think this does a couple things. I think it, it gives you uh, net net uh, the best financial uh, uh, scenario that you will, you will experience and um, I think that it also keeps you from having to go through the heartache of potentially losing a sale on your dream home. Of course the best scenario but also probably the riskiest is um, going out and getting a bridge loan or securing another mortgage and going ahead and buy that home uh, first without any contingencies. Uh, obviously the benefit to this is you know exactly what you're getting and you have control over the whole situation. The negative is that you are carrying uh, more debt. You would have to qualify for both payments and sometimes um, running into a period of time where you could have two mortgage payments. So um, that's kind of a nutshell. There is no right answer. Uh, there is no wrong answer. Uh, basically it's what um, feels right to you and, and what and, and, and everybody's different on that so thank you God bless we'll be here next Tuesday hope this helps always feel free to call us at 867-3020 for all your real estate needs thanks a lot